What's going on guys, Big here. Today, I'm gonna to try to help you start winning in NHL 17. I have had a ton of people say, yo, Bacon, last year I was actually a pretty good player, Division One, Division Two kind of player, and now this year in NHL 17, I'm getting smoked in Division Seven. Well, first things first, the game's brand new. Those aren't actually Division Seven players smoking you. Those are probably Division One players working their way up through the ranks, so just sit tight. It will get easier in Division 7, but anyways, let's go through some tips. I'm going to focus on offense today. Defense will be in a separate video. My credentials, I'm winning a few games. I actually just made Div 1. There's only 21 of us in there right now. My goalie, I've been running with Peter Mrazek almost the whole time. I tried Luongo for a couple games. He was terrible. I went back to Mrazek. I don't care about his rating. He's actually pretty good. You guys want to see my strategies? I'm just going to show them quick here. We'll do a separate strategies video and focus on what they all mean. But you got to do your strategies. I hear people complain about the AI and then they don't even know what strategies they're running. That's kind of like putting your car in reverse and then when you hit the gas... You expect the car to go forward. Like you're telling them to do one thing and then they're doing. Anyways, you guys get what I'm saying? You gotta know at least what strategies you're using. I'm a full out four check kind of guy. I got that one, two, two aggressive. I got the one, two, two blue. Full out four check bar. The biggest change from last year in my own end, I now use tight point instead of collapsing. So I want to take away the point shots from my opponents at least. <laughs> I want to at least limit them because it's you're the slapper, right? You're going to see a lot of my clips here. I set up from the point. I either score with the slapper or I'm setting up there and then passing in it. I want to take that away from my opponents. That's my goal. Let's get to some tips. All right, so let me show you what's been working for me. I'm just being patient with the puck in the offensive zone. Yeah, you want to get as many shots as you can in NHL 17, but if you can wait until your opponent makes the first move, you're going to get a way better scoring chance. Watch this, okay? So instead of firing loose pucks on net, I curl away and I set it up again. I also use the points a lot. Look at Nyquist. I normally would have shot that, but instead I throw back to the point. This guy's letting his computer sit there. I burn him with two 45-degree cuts, and it's in the back of the net. You make him make the first move, and then you know what the best option is, right? So here we are. I'm just standing here. He thinks I'm going to go down low. No, you're the slapper. Get some. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice tuck. That's a good tuck. You're going to see the same thing again in the next clip, right? I cut in. I throw it back to the point. That opens everything up, plus he's got his players moving. He must think he has it covered. Anyway, one step into the middle. Let's rip again. You're the slapper. Utilize it. Anyway, you're going to see me use the points here, and I do it a lot. Break into the zone, throw it back to the point. It's always a good setup. You got his guys moving. You got to watch that D to D pass. So you've seen in the opening clip, I picked one off. Down for a breakaway snipe. But if that slapper's there, let her go and crash the net. You always want to crash the net in this game because you get away with it a lot. At least I seem to be. But if you do see a guy not take control of his defenseman, just take it right to the net. Do your little left or right and tuck that. Cut right across the goalie and tuck that. You'll see he never does switch. He never switches. So now you know on when you're playing defense, you gotta go manual defense, otherwise you're gonna get lit. You gotta switch guys. I don't know why people do that. Anyway, if you go up against somebody playing the trap, five guys on the blue line, and you can't bait his computer into taking a penalty, that is the best way, by the way. What you should do is pick two computer defensemen and just straight line it. Just straight line it in, it might work. A lot of guys playing the trap, they won't switch defensemen no matter what. They won't switch guys. So I like to straight line it. Sometimes it works. It's not foolproof, but it works. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There's gonna be weak goals no matter what. No matter what you do, there's gonna be some weak goals. You just gotta deal with it. Oh dear me. <laughs> It's going to go both ways. You're going to get a few. You're going to get a few against you. It's just going to happen. What you should do... Sure, give Ice Tilt the baking country because he needs it. Awesome. Awesome. It's just blame Ice Tilt. You should blame Ice Tilt. That's what I do. That's what everybody does. It's great. And last but not least, always trust the last minute cheese. If that's not 2.5 seconds left in the third, I'm probably not taking that shot. The last minute cheese is real. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's real. I love it, and I'll shoot every time I can. 
Anyways, guys, hopefully some of these tips helped you guys out. Be a little more patient. Use your points. Let those slappers go. Let your opponent make the first move. And when it comes to the defensive end, you got to kind of block those same shots that you're trying to do because people are trying to do them against you. We'll have a full defensive video with clips in the future, but hopefully... If you're scoring five or six goals, you might not have to worry as much in your own end. Hopefully these tips helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys start winning some games. And if you're only having trouble scoring goals, I'm going to put my how to score video I made from the beta on the screen right now. You can click that link and check it out. I would still say all those same ways are good ways to score in NHL 17. The only thing I would change, I'd put a little bit more emphasis on the backdoor one-timer. Right in tight, throw it across the crease one-timer. Seems to work pretty good. Anyways, guys, if this video helped you guys out and you would like more NHL 17 tips videos, be sure to hit that like button for me. We'll see you guys soon.